Blessings and favor, blessings and favor to you all. Thank you all for rocking out. This is your man, Pastor Ron Pitts, dropping in for some game time nuggets. I pray that you all are having a fantastic day. Hey, Anita, blessings and favor to you. What's going on, sis? Shonda Kersky's in the building. Grace and peace to you all. Let us know where you're coming from. We actually can't see unless you post something who was in the building. Um, but we definitely want to acknowledge everyone that is here with us on today. Grace and peace to you all. I pray that this is a magnificent day for you all. I pray that the favor of the Lord is resting upon you. Uh, I pray that this is a magnificent Wednesday uh, on today. So we definitely uh, thank you all for rocking out with us on this morning. Uh, man, I am always excited, man, to get into the presence of the people of God. Hey, Michelle, blessings and favor to you. Blessings and favor. Uh, let us know where you're coming from. We definitely want to shout you out. Uh, we want to acknowledge you. Uh, we pray that uh, you all rested well, man. Uh, we do have a word that is in the house on today, and we'll dive into that in just a moment. Um, but, yo, uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of quick announcements. Um, again, you guys can catch us, uh, follow us on all social media platforms as Pastor Ron Pitts. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube page, uh, we invite you, man, to go to our YouTube page. Uh, you can definitely subscribe. And the quickest way to get there is to go through our website, www.ronpittsmen.com. Uh, you can go down there and subscribe to all of our social media platforms as well. Uh, as well. So um, also, uh, let's see here. Let's go and dive into this thing, man. If you all peep the title, the title is simply don't overlook the no name. Uh, uh, don't overlook the no name. Um um, it, it, it don't overlook the no name. One of the things I've learned uh, in this journey on this assignment that God has called us for uh, is, is that watch this. People love the name brand. God, am I talking to somebody? Uh, uh, people, pe people set the standard. They set the they set the litmus bar based off of watch this based off of the name brand. Uh, people shop based off of the name brand. Uh, they, they buy cars based off of the name brand. Uh, they buy clothes based off of the name brand. Uh, what was that? Run DMC say, watch this. I don't wear Calvin Klein's. I don't wear nobody's name on my. OK, I'm going to let y'all go with that one. Yo, what's going on, sis? Blessings and favor to you. Hey, prophetess Tabitha, uh, blessings to you. Blessings and favor to you. So, yo, God says, watch this. He, 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 we, we, we dropped some stuff in Bible study. God was showing me some things uh, as we were ministering in Bible study um, uh, this past weekend. Man, I need to get into that, too, man. Every Saturday morning, 11 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, man. We having a Bible study, man. We having a service, man, and, and we're doing some things in that thing. And so God is definitely releasing some fresh manna, some fresh oil in that. But um, we, we do things and we try to gauge our level of success based off of, watch this, of the name. Am I talking to somebody on today? And so, yo, um, so God says to me when we were ministering this past weekend, and I'll drop. I'll go ahead and bring some scripture to this thing. Um, but he told me, he said, tell the people to embrace the no names. Don't overlook the no names. Don't look at what they do have and what they don't have. Um, but don't look at that because watch this. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Thank you so much for the super hearts. Share this out. If you have not shared this out with your followers, let them know we are in the building. And I want to encourage you all, man. I want to really take a moment of your time to, to, to really encourage you all, because a lot of the times we're always wondering, God, when is it my turn? Um, God, I wonder if they notice me. Uh, um, uh, even Jodas, he says, watch this. I've been watching you uh, uh, for so very long. Got my talking to somebody. Watch this. I want to encourage you. People are watching you. Man, I had an I had an encounter this past weekend or a couple weekends or two weekends ago, whatever it was when he was at the conference. And I'm just in there chilling, minding my business, doing my thing, trying to get the word, trying to do what God, you know, do whatever I was supposed to do there. And I get this post on social media and it took a picture and it was like, yo, I, I want to acknowledge you. Uh, um, why do you want to acknowledge me? It's like because and this is what they said. Hey, Tina Mo, blessings to you. What's going on? Uh, um, they said, yo, they was like, um, uh, uh, we, I've been, you haven't been, you don't know, but I've been watching you. God, boy, I, at that moment, it took me back to Rockwell and Michael. I, I, I always feel like that, that, that somebody's watching me, but watch this. I, I wasn't paying attention. God, 
And they was like, yo, I've been watching you. I, 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 you you've been doing your thing. You've been doing this. You've been doing that. Uh, and I was like, oh, OK, cool. I, then somebody else commented on it was like, yo, yeah, I didn't check them out. I didn't be, watch this the same way. And I was like, OK, cool. But but the Holy Spirit ministered to me this past weekend and, and through my meditation. And I can't shake this. God's been dealing with me with seeds and no name. Seeds and no name. Seeds and no name. So somebody put in the screen, seeds and no name. Seeds and no name. Put that, throw that up in the screen. Seeds and no names. God. So, so, so somebody put that in the screen. Seeds and no names. God. And, and one of the things that God showed me about the seed, well, I did this is dope right here. He said, a lot of people are missing out on their harvest because they're not putting a name on their seed. A, a lot of people are missing out on their harvest because they're not putting a name on their seeds. Oh, God help me somebody. And I'm like, okay, God, he said, he said, the issue is they don't value the seed that they're sowing because they don't believe that their name is worth They don't believe to put a name on their seed because they don't think that their seed is going nowhere. Boy, if I'm talking to you, throw one up in the screen. He, 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 he said, what's this? He said, think about it, son. He said, when they go to McDonald's, that they put a name on that seed at McDonald's. What are you saying, man of God? When they say they put that $5 bill, they throw that debit card up on the counter and they say, give me that number five. OK, I, I put up a one uh, they, they, they say, put, give me that number five. Watch this. You put a name on your seat because all you thought was your seat was good enough is to get you that number five. God, boy, 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 boy. Watch this. And then, then, then say, we even put our name. We even put a name on the power bill. When you write in that check, when you throw in that debit card online, watch this. You, this name that you're putting on that seat there is. Duke Power, Duke Electric, Alabama Power, uh, 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 whatever, whatever your power, your gas company is, whatever your mortgage company is. But God says, but when it comes to your harvest, when you come, when it comes to your harvest, we don't put a name on it. We just throw a seed out there. Why? Because we don't feel that our seed is, is good enough to have a name. OK, I, I, that's not what I, that's not what I want to talk about today. But 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 the, 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 the topic that I gave you guys was don't overlook the no name. So we're in Bible study. We rocking out in Bible study. We dropping this thing. And um, <clears throat> we were dealing with where John, where where game time was originated from. We were leading into that place um, where game time was had originated from. It originated out of John chapter four. But leading into that. Um, God showed me this. And we, and we literally got stuck on here in, in Bible study on this piece right here. When Jesus was at the well, he was at the well with the Samaritan woman. And Jesus was like, yo, um, give me something to drink. And she was like, well, why are you rocking out with me? You're not supposed to be here. You know, I'm a Samaritan. You a Jew. And Jesus was like, yo, if you really knew who I was, Tino Mo, if you really knew who I was, Rhonda, if you really knew who I was, Nichelle, if you really knew who I was, Shonda, if you really knew who I was, you would be asking me for some water. God, you know what her response was? And this is the part that blew me away. If y'all haven't shared this out, share this out with your followers. This is the part that blew me away. Jesus simply said to her, you know, watch this. If you knew who I was, you would be asking me for a drink. But this is what the this is what the woman said to him. The woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? This is basically what she was saying, sir. We don't know who you are and the evidence that you look like. You don't look like you have what it takes to get what you need. Why would I ask you for something and you don't even look the part? You, you don't even sound the part. Dude, I don't even know who you are. God. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And a lot of the times, God says, he said to me, he said, he said, son, look at that. 
I'm, I am the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I am the son of man. I, I, it, she really knew who I was, but she looked based off of the evidence that I had. Jesus, God says, watch this, watch this. She looked at me as the passenger side view mirror. God, God, God. She, she, she looked upon me as if I was a passenger side mirror. God, what are you saying, God? Watch this. Your breakthrough, your next level, your name is much closer than what it appears. God, 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 God. And I want to encourage you not to overlook the no, the no name. Embrace where you at because watch this. Look at yourself. Watch this. Say, self, I am much closer than I appear. I, I am much closer than I appear. Hey, train of blessings to you. She says, sir, you don't even look the part. How in the world can you, why would I ask you for some water and you don't even have nothing to draw with? God, God. Oh, why would I ask you, watch this, why would I ask you to come do X, Y, and Z when you don't have no element OP? Mm -hmm. Even Fred Hammond said you, you, you were much closer than I realized. See, I, I can use gospel analogies. <laughs> So he says, he says, the woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. The Holy Spirit dropped this on me. Watch this, y'all. He said, watch this. He said, just because it looks too deep don't mean you can't get to it. Mm -hmm. I, I watch this. I'll say that again. Just because it looks deep doesn't mean you can't get to it. God. Hey, Sophia, blessings to you. Blessings to you. Just because it looks deep doesn't mean you can't get to it. Prophet Miller, I mean, Prophet Miller, blessings to you, sir. God, 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 God. And a lot of the times we don't think that our name is qualified to get into the room because the room looks too deep. Question. First of all, thank you, Holy Spirit. When, when you have that type of mindset, you got the now you have to when you have that mindset that the room looks too deep, that the room is too big for you, that, that you don't feel that you're qualified. The first thing, and I think some of my coaches on here will back me up on this. Watch this. Now you need to start e evaluating your circle. Somebody throw that in the screen. Start evaluating your circle. Start start evaluating your team. Oh, y'all can go to the website, get the game time cups too. Uh, -uh. so start start checking your circle. So start evaluating your circle. Start start evaluating your team. Now, now, now y'all like, come on, preacher. Yeah, give me Bible on that. I am so glad you asked me to give you Bible on that. Come here, brothers, with the lame man on the bed. God, watch this. When they thought that they could not get into the room, when they heard that Jesus was in the town, that they went to the house where Jesus was rocking at, that they went to the house where, the, where everything was jumping off, that they went to the house of the breakthrough, and they found out, watch this, that there was no room in the building. Am I talking to somebody? That there was no room in the building. It was filled to capacity. And a lot of us, we don't think because the room is filled that we don't qualify to be in the room. OK, I'm sorry. Y'all just happened to be in the conversation that I had with myself once upon a time ago. There was a time I didn't feel like I qualified to be in the room, even in the same city or even in the same state. But watch this. Now you have to evaluate your team because the lame man had a crew was like, yo, we can't get to the front door. We, we, we can't get to the windows. Why is that? Because this thing is sold out. So, so in order for us to get to where we're supposed to get to, to let people know that we qualify and that we officially have arrived. Sometimes you got to go ahead and create your own window. Mm -hmm. you, you, you got to go in and create your own entrance. Watch this. They used to tell us when we was in the, when we was in the world. Watch this. The party don't stop until we show up. God, I mean, sorry, the party don't start until we show up. Do I got any party people in the house? Do, do I have any people that's in, that, that come up into the party with your red solo cup, with your pinky out? No. And watch this. The party ain't jumping off until we walk up in the room. 
Boy, I ain't gonna lie. I, when we was in our secular days, in our secular days, when your boy used to rap, when your boy was, watch this. We let the party get started, but watch this. But the party didn't start until we showed up. Watch this, ready to rock a microphone. Am I talking to somebody right now? Oh yeah, man. We had the little pinky cup. Had it, we had the little red solo cup at the pinky out. And watch this. And we, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't have. We had the red solos and we had the forties. Yeah, yeah. When they knew we came up in there with a backpack with, with, with our same eyes and our old E. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That, oh, God, I'm supposed to be saved right now. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the saved folk right now. I'm sorry. I, I didn't always come into the club with a Bible. Mm, I, I, that, that wasn't my story. But all I know is I came into the party with a backpack with some 40s in it. And then when I got a little bit of money, watch this. When I got a little money, your boy was down in the Freaknik with some with some Martini and Rossi popping bottles down. There. That, that's how I got down because I knew the party didn't start until I walked up into the building. And watch this. I, I, I never forget. We walk up in the building. Everybody like, yo, they go Indonesia, Indonesia. Oh, did, did I just tell y'all my, my did I just tell y'all my our names? God. OK, I'm already out there right now. They called me the smoked out. God. That I was the smoked out that they knew when smoked out stepped up into the building. God. Ron was ready to rock the mic. And I want to encourage you all right now. You belong in the room. Somebody put that in the screen right now. I belong in the room. Uh -huh. I, I belong in the room. I, I don't care how deep it is, how high it is, how crowded it is. But watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Sometimes you just got to go in and create your own entrance. Boy, 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 boy. I got me my, my past on here, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me let me sit up and get behind the podium right quick and, and, and articulate God's word. Hey, Pastor Don, I got blessings and blessings to you, woman of God. Blessings and blessings to you, woman of God. <laughs> I thank God I got a pastor boy that I can just be me. I thank God that I got a leader that I can just be me. Well, watch this. Watch the year, Pastor. Your, your, your son did it. He did his thing out in the world. So, so yo, yo, Peter, y'all, Peter, so Peter. So the Holy Spirit says, when I'm reading this text, in John chapter 4, he says, in John chapter 4, verse 11, the woman looked at Jesus, was like, yo, you, you talking a big game, but, but why would I ask you? Why would I ask you? Why would I ask you for a drink and you ain't even got nothing to draw with? God. Don't you know that this well looked too deep? So watch this. How in the world can you help me? Where are you trying to get some living water from? Where are you trying to get some living water from? And you ain't got nothing. You ain't got no name. Watch this. She didn't even acknowledge him as rabbi, master, teacher. She, she didn't rabbit, rab, son of man. She didn't, she reverenced him by sir. Now she knew he looked out of place. Oh, Jesus. She, she, she knew he looked out of place, but she couldn't even reverence him. And God wants me to tell you, even though you look out of place, watch this. You, you, it's time for, when you look out of place, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, when you look out of place, sometimes you just got to create your own place. Mm. You, when you look out of place, sometimes you got to create your own place. God. And that's why you have to evaluate your circle because your circle is going to tell you how it really should be. God, watch this. this they, try, they brought the lame man into the building. Watch this. Like, yo, we can't get into the front door. The tickets are sold out. Watch this. They ain't nobody thinking about you. But this new knew he need this dude knew where he needed to be. So what did they do? Watch this. They did what we did in the world. They ripped the roof off. God. They, they, they ripped the roof off. If y'all haven't shared this out, share this out with your followers. They, they, they ripped the roof off. The question is, are you ready to get your own space created to a place where you can tear the roof off? Mm, so watch this. He evaluated his circle. So I want to encourage you all, people of God, in this time, you need to make sure you surround yourself with people that understand your assignment, that, that understands your name. Watch this. Even through my whole process, watch this. I didn't know that, that my team was in another room. I didn't know that my mentors, my brothers and the sisters, excuse me, my brothers and sisters are in another room. Watch this whispering about my name and saying this. This is what they were saying. This is what they were saying. Boy, I, I wish Ron would really get this. I, I really wish Ron really understood who he was. I, I really wish, watch this, that he understood that he belongs in the room. But watch this, we can't go in there and, and say nothing until he, until he begins to declare it himself. 
What's this? You need to make sure you got people around you. Watch this. And watch this. In the moment that I realize, watch this, that I can step up in the room. The, the moment that I realize that I can just come up in the room. The, the moment that I realize that I can create my own room and space. That's when they came out and say, Boom, he gets it now. He understands. He belongs. What's the What's this? I'm here to tell you, make sure you got people in your circle that's in the that, 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 God, 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 God. That you got slow down, bitch. That you got people in your circle. God, 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 God. That, that people in your circle that know exactly where you're supposed to be. <sighs> Tina Mo, I can't shake what you sent me in the text message. I can't shake what you sent me in the text message. In the midst of the conference, you told me to go back and look at a certain piece of that. And I went back and look at it. And that's when I realized, baby, you, you create your own arenas. Watch this. Watch this. Stop riding on the coattails of name dropping. Stop riding. He said, watch this. When you showed when you told me to go back to that place. Oh, when, when you told me to go back to that place, and I looked at that thing and I was like, yo, who was that dude? That dude looked like he did when he was in the world. That dude looked like the dude who was up on stage. That dude. God said, God says, so watch this. So, so, so God says, so God says, he says, he says, he says, son, look at this text again. The woman said to him, sir. You have nothing to draw with. <sighs> you have nothing to draw with. And a lot of the times I'm learning, Pastor Donna, a lot of people would take that phrase and get punked out from their purpose. A, a, a lot of times people would take that phrase because they looked at God, their, their current circumstance and said, you know what? She right. I ain't got nothing to draw with. How can I tell her to ask me for some water? And I don't have nothing to draw with. You know what? Let me go ahead and just retreat. How many of us have said that? You know what? What they said, they write. I don't have nothing to draw with. The, the well looked too deep. You know what? Let me go ahead and get punk from my purpose. Maybe I don't belong. I'm sorry, y'all, 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 y'all just y'all looking at a moment in my life. I'm not on their flyers. They, they, they ain't call me. Maybe I don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe they right. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking to. But you are. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Breaking news, breaking news. You are the one that God is looking for. You are the one that God is looking for. God. God says, he says, he says, told Abraham. Watch this, y'all. He told Abraham. <laughs> Get out of this. Get out of the box. But this box is comfortable, God. 
get out of the box. I need you to leave everything that you are familiar with. And he says, I will make your name great. God. He says, I will make your name great. He said, watch this. You are the one that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the no name. I says, I do my best work with the no name. God. God says, I do my best work with the no name. Every great name that we celebrate in the word of God started out as a no name. Started out as a no name. Everything that God worked with started with something that was nothing. If you don't believe me, come on, now I'm about to go into some theology. There's a term that some of you all may have heard of. It's called the law of first mentions. See, well, I'm trying. I'm really trying not to go down that avenue, but the, the law of first mentions. If you ever want to get a clear understanding of who you are, how you operate, how to operate, how to move, how to maneuver, where things came from, I dare you all to go to Genesis. God started with nothing. Everything that we breathe and live and operating was nothing. In the beginning, God created. God. So in other words, in the beginning, nothing was there. Why? Right? Because God created. What did he create? Heavens and earth. It was, He took something, took nothing and made it something. Well, come on, man. That, that's something totally different. Okay, here you go. Told Abraham, I'm going to make your name great. But here's the greatest one. I'm going to leave it right here. The greatest no name in the Bible. Law of first mentions. Adam. I, I, I'm, here you go. I, I didn't freeze. I just paused and said, Lord, on purpose. Adam. He took a person that didn't even exist. God. And made his name. And watch this. God says this. Tell the people this, Pitts. Tell the people this. He can take a no name and give it authority over all names. Embrace the no name. Embrace the no name. He gave Adam the authority who didn't even have a name, who didn't even have an existence. But created somebody in his image. God says, watch this. You don't need a name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He says, you don't need a name. All you need is an identity. God, 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 God. He says, you don't even need a name. All you need is an identity. What do you mean, man of God? He, which is, he says, I'm going to take something who doesn't even have a name who doesn't even exist, but I'm going to create them in my, here you go, pastor, in my image. God. Image is an identity. God. <laughs> but he gave Adam, watch this. this. Boy, this is why you got to embrace who you are. He gave Adam the authority to name whatever he wanted it to be named. And he didn't argue with it one bit. And one thing that I've learned at the Believe Big Again conference, boy, I hope y'all get the virtual piece if y'all haven't got it. If y'all haven't got it, if y'all haven't got it, I tell y'all to tap into my brother Felix's thing because God get caught on more shit than he. God says, he says, he says, watch this. I left that place with a different identity. What was the identity? Watch this, that I can name, this is the revelation God gave me, 
whatever I want my next level to be. So ever since I left that place, I've been declaring, well, I'm healthy. And God's not going to argue with it because he's given you the authority to name it. I'm, in, I'm healthy. I'm in shape. I am wealth. God. I am a millionaire. Boy, y'all don't. No, no. Stay tuned. I will be. And I approve this message. I will be a millionaire. Why? Because I am one. God has given me the authority to name God. Even when you didn't think you had a name, he's given you the authority to name. So he takes somebody who has no name, but gives it authority to name. I, I'm, I'm going to sip on that one. I'm here to tell you, people of God, it is your game time. It is your game time. God, put that in the screen right now. It is my game time. It is my game time. Even in the midst of this pandemic, I look at every sports league right now. The sports league, thank you, Holy Spirit. I look at these sports leagues. They are determined to finish off their season. Even in the midst of the pandemic, watch this. The, the, the NBA came back, created a bubble. God, God says they created their own space so that they can complete their assignment to finish off their season. The NFL moving things around in their life, uh, re reallocating things, moving games, canceling this, postponement, moving here, isolating those who can contaminate the vision just so. Oh, God, that was good. Watch this. They have moved people into quarantine. Watch this. Because they're sick and they can infect the assignment. They can infect the vision. Watch this. Because they can't have it. Their space impacted. So they say we are determined to finish out the assignment. They're uh, uh, determined to finish out the season. If we got to do it with isolating people, to getting people out of our lives that are contaminating our space. We are going to finish this season. I am here as a prophet, as a voice of God that comes back and tell you, watch this. You must finish your season. You must finish this race. I don't care who you got to reassign in your team, who you got to reassign out of your circle, who you need to bring in, who you got to move, what you got to move. You got to inconvenience yourself to finish your season. God, if they're not speaking into your vision, if they're not speaking into the assignment, if they're not helping to bring something to it, to the table, you need to go ahead and isolate those. And if they're not willing to move, isolate yourself. That's why God can tell Abraham. That's why God can tell Abraham. That's why God can tell Abraham, get out of your father's house. Get out of your country. Leave all of those that you're connected to. If they won't get in line, you leave. I will make your name great. God says, watch this. It is your game time. It is a must to finish your season. Why is it a must to finish your season? Because the Bible says, watch this. God's word will do exactly what he sent it out to do, and it will not re and it shall not return to him void. It is a must that you finish out your season. If the world can complete the assignment, if the world, if the world can finish out there, why can't you? And God put you in the world to dominate, to rule, to be fruitful and multiply. You can't be fruitful when you're not intimate with your vision. Well, I'm done. You, you can't be fruitful when you can't, when you're scared to get intimate with your vision. A lot of us, we look at the vision and think, and we're scared to shoot our shot. Why is that? Because the shot looked too big. And because the shot looked too big, we are scared to get intimate with our vision. Oh, God. Oh, boy. The, the Lord is working on me, y'all, because I really want to say something else. I, I really want it, but my pastor here, I, I can't go. I can't go that deep with it. I, I, I can't. I, I, well, <laughs> I, I can't go where I want to go with this thing. But 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 watch this. But but watch this. Uh, what's the best way? What's the best way? 
Oh God, he come my shit on a vocal. Uh what's this was best way? Okay, okay. You 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 can't be fruitful when you can't be intimate with your vision. Okay, thank you. Okay, I told you he's working on me. Being fruitful starts with the seed. Yeah, I can say it that way. I told you, God's working on me with this one. You can't be fruitful without a seed. You can't multiply without a seed. Until you ready. Okay, yeah, I, I got your anointing on me. I, I do have. And, and, oh, oh, God. Until. God, stop it. Um, <laughs> until you're willing to have confidence in your name that your seed can make a difference when you become intimate with your vision. The Holy Spirit said this to me as I'm talking to you. That's why I'm trying to clean it up. He said, you're frustrated because he said, you're frustrated because, well, this took a shift. You're frustrated because you've been trying to sleep around with somebody else's vision. You're frustrated because you're chasing after somebody else's vision. And because you're sleeping around with somebody else's vision, God, your name gets diluted. And you can't present your baby because it's somebody else's vision. Bathsheba, David, come here. David was intimate with somebody else's vision. He run here running the streets with somebody else's vision. Now you can produce something with somebody else's vision. I was going down that route. I was going that way. I was going. You, 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 you. He watch this. But see, the difference with that, Pastor, is with, with Abraham and Hagar, the difference with that in Bathsheba and David. David was running after somebody else's vision that was married to somebody else's vision. God, Jesus. But some of us are too scared to marry our visions. God. Abraham and Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar tried to do it their own way. And y'all know how my phrase is, when you get caught up in somebody else's ish, you produce some ish males. But I'm really trying to get up off this thing. I really am trying to get off this thing. I don't know how I got all the way over there dealing with no names. <laughs> I don't know how I got all the way over there. Hey, Pam, glad blessings to you. Blessings to you, prophetess. Blessings to you. Jesus answered to this woman. Verse 13 in John chapter 4. I forgot a way to get back over there. Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. He said, baby, because you looking at my name brand, because I'm not rocking the, the, the Louis Vuitton, I'm not rocking Gucci, 
um, because I, I because I'm I'm not rocking in the BMW, I don't look the part to you. But but Jesus said, but here's the thing. This is the part that I love, Pastor. Even though the world looks at may look at you as a no name, it's a scary thing when you look at yourself as a no name. Prophet Miller, I, I know you were in there on Saturday, and I didn't see this part until now. So I'm giving y'all revelation now. If y'all haven't shared this out, go ahead and share this out. It's one thing when the world looks at you as a no name, but it's scary when you see yourself as a no name. Jesus understood exactly who he was. He answered her and declared this. He said, baby, I know what you see. I know it looks like I ain't got no. I know it. I know. I know that that didn't, that wasn't proper English. I know I just probably hurt somebody's ear, but y'all know me. <laughs> I know I don't look like I don't have the things that I that I should have that you think I should have. He says. He says. But he says to him. He says to her. But Jesus answered and said to her, "Whoever." drinks of this water he says you so caught up on the surface that this this, this you so caught up on this surface you, you so caught up on uh uh uh, uh what, what that looks like i should and shouldn't have you're so caught up in that he said what you what you tripping about that that little bottle of water right there he said he said your thirst that only gonna last you for a couple minutes he said, but what I'm what with the confidence that I have in myself, baby, I can change the whole trajectory of your life. He said, you caught up in this bottle of water. He said, but if you really understood and tapped into who I am. He says, you will never thirst again in your life. He said, I'm so smooth with it because I'm confident in my name. God. I'm so confident in my name. He said, baby, I can trans I can transition, transform. Change the trajectory of your life. Watch this. Where waters will begin to spring up from you. God, where people are pulling from you for water. He says, I can change your whole game. He said, if you really knew who I was, you would understand that I am a game changer. Better yet, baby, I'm going to do one better. I am the game. Ain't that what my man said uh, uh, from wrestling? Uh, 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 I forget the dude's name. Uh, um. Randy or no, no, not Randy or and that, that was my man. Um, the gang, come on. Oh, man. Well, anyway, he was the, the opening of the song starts out with says, I am the game. And that's the confidence that you need to have in yourself. Watch this, baby. I, 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 I set this. If you really knew who I was, I shared this in Bible study uh, uh, the other day. Uh, this is a quick testimony and I promise you I'm out. And I, I shared this out and I'm out. Out of all the companies that I worked with, I declared this statement with two companies. But I'm about to say, I don't say this from a place of cockiness, but I said in a place of confidence and I know who God is in me. I had an attitude when I was on these jobs and I would say to them, the only reason why this job exists is because God has me here. The moment that I leave here, I, I hope y'all got y'all resumes together. I used to say that with confidence. I used to say that to my boss. I used to say that to my boss's boss. I said, man, and I had that relationship. I had that rapport. The only reason why this building exists is because I'm here. God understands I need to be here. But the moment that y'all let me go or that God allows you all to let me go, I hope y'all got y'all resumes together. Said that on two jobs. Those buildings no longer exist. About a month after I left, all got bought out or closed. God, it's time to go full time. <laughs> it's time to go full time. Okay, that, I'm sorry. That was just a whole nother conversation. 
So, man, as we wrap up, man, I hear the Holy Spirit saying. It's time for us to get to a place to embrace. The no name. Stop looking down on those um, who may not have what you think it ought to takes to be what they're supposed to be. I understand that some of you all don't think that you're qualified, but according to the word of God, God says, I predestined you. I foreknew you. I knew how this thing was going to play out way before you even became you. He said, because of that, I've I, I, I given you my stamp of approval. I've given you my name. I've given you an identity. You not only have you been qualified, but you've been justified. And I want to encourage each and every one of you all, whether you're catching this live or by replay, you are qualified. I had I said this in Bible study to the, to the to everybody in Bible studies. I need you to put if you don't put anything else on your notes, put this on your notes. I am necessary. I am necessary. Put that in the screen. Put that in the screen. I am necessary. I am necessary. You need to start declaring that. And the reason why you're necessary because they may say that you don't have a name. But God says you have my name. And you're necessary. You're necessary. If this woman really understood and then we're not going to get into the rest of it. I'll probably come back next week and deal with that. I don't know. Or next time. This woman looked at the appearance God. Can I talk to somebody with low self-esteem? Can I just can I can I just minister to that person for a moment? God, they come my shit caught up. Oh shit. I I really feel that there's a struggle with somebody here with low self-esteem. I, I don't I don't know who this is for. It it I will be honest with you. It will take when you look yourself in the mirror and begin to encourage yourself. I hear the spirit of the Lord says to tell me to tell you, tell my child. Tell my children to start living again. To start living again. He says the atmosphere, the climate will change. In your life, when you start living again. He says some of you all have given up on life because you thought that this is how this thing was going to play out. If I can snatch this one for, from Tina Mo, she don't. She says it, but she doesn't say it. But she says it, but doesn't say it. Doesn't say it, but she said it. But I'm a remix it. So this is how it's gonna say. The room is waiting on you. The room is waiting on you. The room. Is waiting on you. You know I'm going to remix it, Tina. <laughs> the room is waiting on you. So somebody put that in the screen. The room is waiting on me. The, the room is waiting on me. What are you saying, man of God?
The room is waiting on you. Watch this. When you go back, y'all, and look at the text, watch this, y'all, peep this, peep this, and I promise, I said I was out, but this is one of those preacher closes now, somebody pulled on me. I'd use the analogy of the brothers, the lame man in Mark chapter two, the paralytic man that was on the bed. And his brothers went ahead and took the hearts off. I mean, they took the uh, roof off. It said four men had carried him. But watch this, y'all. Watch this. This is this is um, this is revelation right here. I'm too smart to come up with this. This is God just dropped this on me. He says, son, look at Mark chapter two. And it says again, and he entered in Capernaum after some days. And it was heard that he, Jesus, was in the house. Immediately, many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them. Not even near the room, not even near the door. And he preached the word to them. Then they came, br came to him, bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof. Watch this, God. Watch this. Uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, God. Jesus, when they had broken through, when they had broken through, they let they let down the bed on which the paralytic man was lying. Watch this, y'all. Then Jesus saw their faith. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I got to stop for a second. I have to stop for the second. Broken through. I, I don't want to talk to the people that's all the way in the room. I don't want to talk to you right now. Let, let me talk to the ones that's checking out the no name. Watch this, watch this, y'all. That's checking out the known thing that was fly, scrolling up your timeline. That just hit the little speaker button in the, in the top corner, right about there. Right there, that hit the little speaker button that didn't come all the way in the room because you're still checking out from the outside. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, you won't receive your true revelation until you come all the way in the room. He said, right now, some of y'all had just hit the little speaker button. Just a little microphone thing so on Facebook. I think it's about right there. Uh, Periscope is about right there. Watch this. You, you hadn't even come all in the room. Watch this because you are testing out the no name. And, and what you're doing is I'm not going to come all the way in the room because I don't want to be seen in the room. I just want to watch and see from the outside. But I hear the Holy Spirit saying you won't receive your true breakthrough until you break through and come through the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different type of confidence right there. I, I can tell you, I can call you out right now and say it's time for you to come all the way in the room. That's your problem. Watch this. You're not receiving your fullness because watch this. You too busy spectating. It's game time. Get, get yourself in the game. Can't complete the roster, but don't even get me started. Watch this. The disciples, the apostles in Acts chapter two, they couldn't fulfill their assignment until they casted lots until they got the team fully assembled. And until you come all the way into the room to help fully assemble the team, the team cannot move forward. You're necessary. And you're holding up those. Watch this because you won't come completely in the room. Boy, I'm talking to somebody. Okay, now let me talk to those who's already in the room. Let me get back. Somebody said, get back. Um, he says, he says, so when they had broken through, they laid down the bed on which the paralytic was crying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, your sins are forgiven. So what did God say to me that I said I wasn't too smart to come up with myself? The Bible says that at the beginning in verse number two. And he preached, Jesus preached the word. But I was really going with to say that God says he needs you. You're, the room is waiting on you. See, he preached the word in chapter in verse two, but things didn't change until they showed up. He, he preached the word in verse two, but things didn't change until they came all the way through, until they came into the room. God says you are necessary for things to change. 
Let, let me talk to that person that, that's dealing with low self-esteem. We need you. The room is waiting on you because, this, because things can't change. Things can't heal. The spirit of God can't move the way he wants to move. Why? Because he needs you in the room. The room is waiting on you. You're necessary. Stop allowing the enemy to get into your psyche to say that you're not qualified. Man, you can check us out, man, on our website, www.ronpitsmen.com. You can check us out there. Um, sign up, man. We we have our Bible studies. A couple quick announcements. Uh, a couple quick announcements here. You can go to our website. Um, www.ronpitsmen.com. Um, you can sign up for our uh, Bible study every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you, you, all we just need is you get on the list. Our team will send you out an email. Uh, we'll send out something. Um, we'll send out a link to the Bible study. All are welcome. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be connected to our ministry, um, but you can be connected to. I mean, if you know, tap in, man. You know, if you need to get. Um, and I do believe in order. If you need to reach out to your leader, say, yo, I'm down with this cat, man. They're doing Bible study, man. I want to see, you know, if you want to check him out, man, a woman of God and just see if, Hey, if you, if you cool with it, if you trip, cause watch this, I, I know I'm not call for everybody's ear, but I do believe in order. Uh, we definitely welcome you in. Um, also you can, um, if you need prayer requests, you can go to our website as well. Um, get this off the screen. You can go to our website as well for any prayer requests. I get those. I'm the only one that sees those. Uh, also on our website, man, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, we finally got us a YouTube page, a YouTube channel. So check us out there, man. Um, the replays will be coming down off of this, but you'll be able to see them on YouTube. Um, if you're not following us on Facebook, you can follow us under Pastor Ron Pitts, Instagram, Pastor Ron Pitts, Twitter, Pastor Ron Pitts, Periscope is Pastor Ron Pitts. We also have a game time group on Facebook, a private group on game time, game time group on Facebook. Uh, where we're just going to cater to the whole game time thing. I don't even know if you're there, but yes, I have embraced it now. I have finally embraced this as this is who I am. Um, you can go to our you can go to the website. You can sign up for our private group, um, our game time private group. Um, also, uh, what am I missing? Uh, we got on the website, you have the game time apparel. We got the visors. We got the cups. We got the hoodies. Um, we got the skull caps. We got the, what else we got? T-shirts. We got all that on there. You check it out, man. We, we got a variety of colors. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, also, um, stay tuned for this, man. Game time 21, um, the new season. Y'all get, y'all stay tuned for that. Game time 21, the new season. Um. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, get prepared for this. We'll have some announcements coming out the Game Time Conference 2021, the new season. Um, so, yeah, we're we, we believing we got some really great things coming down the pipeline. Um, check us out, man. Get on our mailing list. Um, so, again, you go to the website, www.ronpitsmen.com. I, I pray that this is has been a blessing to you all. Uh, Rhonda, am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? Um, if I'm missing anything, let me know. Um, but we're excited about what God is doing. Um, uh, what else am I missing? Making sure I'm not missing anything. Um, no, thank you. We thank you, Shonda. It's good to see you, meet you in person. I uh, met a couple of you all in person this past weekend or two weekends ago, I believe, big again. Uh, we're looking we're looking forward to seeing you all soon again. Um, you can go to the website, man. Check us out. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Um, and I will, <coughs> um, for those that were in attendance with our game time conference, for those that were intended or in attendance for that, um, stay tuned. Check your emails. You'll be getting an email um, 
hopefully, I'm not sure, probably within the next day or two. Um, we want to do something different. Um, we want to do what we call a game time check in. Um, and basically what that consists of um, a lot of times we go to these conferences. OK, great, great, great. The email will be going out today. Um, just look out for your email for those that are on our game time mailing list. Um, well, a lot of times we go to these conferences, we get energized, we get pumped, we, we get so enthused, we get caught up, we, we're excited, we're ready to go, we're motivated, we're energized, and then we come home to reality. And reality says, man, come on, man, I, I, all that stuff that you heard these past few days, it ain't going to work, it ain't going to manifest. And so we lose sight of our position, we lose our momentum. And one of the things we wanted to do is do what we call a game time check in. Um, you know, even in sports, you know, you have your pregame, then you have the game, and then you have halftime, you have quarter, and you make adjustments as the game goes. And what we want to do is kind of invite you all in as a webinar, so open webinar, so free webinar to those um, that were part of the game time experience um, to just try to check in with you all, just to make sure you motivated. You, you know, what can we do to help you? Um, to help you flourish, to help you bloom, to help you continue to stay energized uh, for the game. See what tweaks, whatever adjustments uh, that we can possibly make. Um, so that's one of the things we want to do. So look out for your email. You'll get that um, today. Um, and you know, it'll have the date and time uh, that we're going to do some things with you all. Um, so other than that, that's all I have. Y'all pray for me, boy. I gotta go get myself together, go to work. God, I need to be full time. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's all we have, man. God bless you all, man. Thank you all for rocking out, vibing with us, Pastor Donna. Love you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I just want to give honor to my leaders. Um, my leaders, Pastor Billy. I know y'all probably right there. So, Pastor Billy, we love you, man. Thank you for your services. Happy Veterans Day. If we have any veterans on here with us, man, I, I got, okay, I missed that. Um, we have any veterans on here. Um, please, um, we want to salute you. We celebrate you. We honor you, um, for being, um, who you are for, you know, protecting and serving. Uh, we want to thank you, um, for putting it all on the line for us. Um, we honor you all for that. Um, pastors, we love you so much. Um, we thank you. We thank you for trusting the God in me to speak to the God in you all and pushing me. And so, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Okay. We got you. Uh, we got you. Thank you so much. Um, Ms. OB, God bless you. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Rhonda, thank you so much for all you do. Um, Shonda Kersky, we thank you. Shout you out. Tammy LaShawn, Tina Moment. Not sure if you're still here. Blessings and favor to you. Glory to the Lamb. God bless you. You know, it's a host of all of you all that rocked out with us today. If I didn't call your name out, trust me, don't take it personal. I just can't see it unless you put a post up, <laughs> um, unless you put something up in the chat. Um, Michelle, God bless you. Happy belated birthday. I pray that you enjoyed your time. If you're still rocking out with us, Dia Patterson, I'm not sure if you're still here. Blessing and favor. Trina's in the building. Nisha Mallet, blessings to you. Daniel, Pastor Page, da Pastor Daniel, well, I'll call you Pastor Page. I ain't never said that in a day of my life. Thank you all for rocking out, man. Um, you all be blessed. Go check us out on YouTube, man. Go check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to our page. Go to our site. Let's go ahead and build that up, build that follow base up. Um, so we can go ahead and get our own YouTube name and all that stuff. So, um, that's all I got, man. Go to our Facebook group, game time, game time group. So love y'all to life, man. Uh, if you all received this word, uh, you all have been stretched. You've been enlarged. Uh, you've been empowered and you've been activated for game time to be who God has called you to be. God bless you all. Uh, we love you to life. Hey, we'll check you out later. God bless.